Imagine we go outside and we just start digging. At about 50 meters deep, we might start to feel the temperature go up. Every kilometer through the crust is about 25 degrees Celsius hotter. Right now, we're inside the crust. On land, it's typically less than 40 kilometers deep, which is less than the length of a marathon. We're passing through soil and layers of hard rock past precious metals and fossils. And as we get deeper, we start to see all kinds of impressively deep things that people have built. Like there's the Kamioka and Sanford research labs that do dark matter and neutrino physics research. Or there's China's insanely deep nuclear command bunker. There's the deepest cave we've ever discovered, plus some of the deepest mines in the world. As we go deeper, temperature and pressure continue to rise. But by this point, unprotected, just in the earth, we were crushed and crispy a while ago. To go farther, let's equip ourselves with an imaginary drilling machine that's immune to any temperature or pressure. Now, finally, at 12.2 kilometers, we reach the deepest point humans have ever dug. This is that hole the USSR dug, the Kola Superdeep Borehole. They didn't put any humans down here. This equipment was operated remotely. To get so deep, these scientists had to invent new equipment and drilling methods to pierce through the thick, hot, pressurized rock. Along the way, they discovered new fossilized organisms dating back two billion years and found there was water much deeper than scientists previously thought. We actually emailed three of the scientists who worked on this project, and one of them told us, quote, the Russians tried several times to get down past the maximum depth that they had reached, but each time, the new hole tended to collapse. This was a moonshot, which will never be repeated or surpassed. This is so cool. But the craziest part is, this deepest hole that humans have ever dug is only 0.2% of the way to the center of the Earth. Time to go deeper. 